I will be speaking to you about an unusual but quite serious problem called craniosynostosis. I am sure all of you would have noticed that when children, small children, small babies are born, the entire skull is quite soft and there are big gaps between the bones of the skull. Do you know why these gaps are there? It is to allow the brain to expand. Because if the entire skull was closed up, the brain would not be allowed to expand. Now with the help of these gaps, the head increases in size as the brain increases in size. That is the normal progression in a baby. Now suppose one of these gaps, which are called sutures, gets closed early. Now the brain can no longer expand in that direction and the, brain st the skull starts to expand in the other directions. Conversely, if all the sutures get closed, the brain can no longer expand and as a result, the pressure inside the head starts to increase. This can have quite serious consequences. Now this craniosynostosis can be of two kinds. One of it is associated with significant genetic abnormalities which are called syndromes and this variety is called the syndromic craniosynostosis. Such babies will have other markers. For example, they will, they will have abnormalities in their hands, in their feet, uh, in their ears or they may have even developmental issues and their progression in life may not be as smooth as the children who do not have this kind of syndromic problem, who are called the non-syndromic variety. Fortunately, the non-syndromic craniosynostosis is more common. Now can this be treated? Of course, fortunately there is quite a simple solution to the problem. All that needs to be done is that the suture which is closed can be cut, removed and once again the skull is able to expand in all directions as the brain grows in size. This surgery, although it sounds quite scary and gory, is relatively simple. The only few problems that can happen is one, because it is quite a major surgery, the child will require a blood transfusion. There will be quite a lot of swelling of the face and eyes, so for a few days your child will look quite puffy. Within three or four days of surgery, the child will be up and about and playing and back to normal in about two weeks. So once this surgery is done, within no time you will have a child who is back to normal and continues to develop and evolve normally.